at Shady Oak Lake, Jacob Ford's go-to spot. It's kayak friendly out here. Trails are blocked in Shady Oak Beach, well, is no longer a beach. That's pretty nuts. I've been out here many years and about the highest I've ever seen it. Minnetonka city leaders are now trying to reverse this trend, requesting a permit to pump water out into Nine Mile Creek. And this is just one of many spots still dealing with flooding. I go to Medicine Lake as well, and uh, the water levels there are much higher than I've ever seen. It's definitely at a higher level than uh, we've seen in some time. Mark Mojina at Minnehaha Regional Park has not seen the creek this high in a long time. It, it can be very troublesome to say the least. Water is already pouring over the banks, even spilling into the streets in some spots, and it could get worse. And there's just no relief. We just keep getting rain after rain event. Tiffany Schoffler with the Minnehaha Creek Watershed District says we could potentially see similar flooding to 2014 like this. That all depends on rainfall. And the rain on Memorial Day did not help our flooding situation, that's for sure. The watershed district can no longer control Lake Minnetonka water discharge through Gray's Bay Dam into the creek. As we know with the rain that happened on Memorial Day, it pushed everything, all the water bodies, the streams, the creeks, the wetlands, to be at capacity. Right now, it's up to Mother Nature to dictate our future flooding concerns. We really need a little bit of maybe unprecedented dry period just to provide relief across you know, the watershed and the whole state of Minnesota. And a reminder here to show that we're not at the worst of the worst just yet. Precipitation right now, we're about two inches less in the Twin Cities than we were back in 2014. We had a lot of rainfall back then in the month of June. Back to you.